What's up guys? Shad Juice here. It's uh November 4th. It's my birthday. Getting old, man. Getting old. But uh right behind me got a Salvation Army. I'm gonna hit up here. Uh, I took off work today. My main reason was to uh work on my garage because this is a disaster with just all the stuff I picked up from uh you know Craigslist and Facebook and then all the yard sales and the estate sales and stuff this year. I've accumulated it a lot and I don't have time to list it. It's hard uh, when you work full time and doing reselling part time. My time is limited. I got a five year old, so I don't get to even start working really until like a night. And then by that time, I don't really feel like doing nothing. So it's definitely easier to buy than doing the work to sell it. So I'm going to take you in my garage and show you what I'm working with. I worked on it a little bit yesterday. So let's head up this thrift store so we can find something. Pretty good. How you doing? Good. Okay. I know that says Paris, but from far away, it looked like it said something else. <laughs> hey, John. And apparently, it's Christmas time at this thrift store. I don't think they've stocked anything. use that but not for four dollars Nothing in here. And I don't know why I would need to know. Right. And if that sounds really strange, like, right, you have to figure out where everybody's coming from. I don't. I can't. Um, and I've been fooled before. And there's this scripture we talked about before in the show. Hey guys, Shad Juice checking back in. We ain't find Jack at that thrift store. Figured that, uh, I did talk to a lady. I got a little bit of intel, but, uh, like I said, I work during the day, during the week, so that intel don't do me no good, but my dad does go up there a lot, so I did see some stuff that might be coming out soon, so I'm gonna let him know. So, uh, she said the guy that stocks the hard goods and stuff wasn't in today, so we'll see. Now let's check out this nightmare, which is my garage. We'll show you what I'm dealing with. And this is just some of the stuff I have. I'm not gonna show you everything, but let's go. All right, guys, here it is. It's a hot mess, but this is what we're working with. There's actually a little more room in than there was in here yesterday. I worked on it for a little bit. Started like putting games in this tote that was in I got a lot of tubs for storage right now. I don't like using them, but this is what I have. So uh, I do use them all the time. I take them down in the post office. And we got a stacking up here. So just got <laughs> random stuff sitting everywhere, like games everywhere. 
Here's that uh, thing where I bought all the VHS tapes. I've well made over my money, my money back on them so far, and that's still like full. Got CDs here. Here's a toad of that He-Man stuff. I actually listed this stuff on eBay. Not eBay, uh, Facebook. This is just like some vehicles and the castles. They need clean stuff. I just don't have the time. And uh, that hundred dollar lot I bought of that He-Man stuff, I made my money back really quick on a couple figures and a couple parts. So I still have a half a tub of figures and this junk. But uh, here's some more of it over here. I just listed that stuff for fifty bucks on Facebook. I had two people interested so far. We'll see. One guy wanted me to meet him far away. I'm not going out of my way to sell stuff. I don't do that. But uh. I'll just give you a little tour here. Got comic books down there. Um, what we got down here? Some reel to reels. So we stuff from a lot of bought. A lot of these tubs is uh from a video you haven't seen yet. It's a nine hundred dollar video game buy I did. A lot of it was really dirty, as you can tell from this box. But there was some good stuff there. So. This table was stacked to the ceiling yesterday. I took a, a car load up to the uh, St. Vincent de Paul. And uh, so we got rid of a little bit yesterday. I'm going to try to get rid of some more stuff I don't need. It's just not worth holding on to stuff to make maybe a couple bucks at a yard sale or stuff. I really don't have time to run my own yard sales because when it's yard sale season, I'm hitting the yard sales. So, Because I'm in Ohio and... You know, our time is limited. Like, time's pretty much is up now, so. But, yeah. Let's get some more light in here. This is where I do my eBay pictures at, too. Usually on that table with the background there. Like, I got, you see all them Nintendos and Playstations up there. The only thing bad about Nintendos, they usually need rehabbed. I usually, uh. Clean the pins, and then I take lock the 10 NES, NES chip. I uh, clip that so where it won't do the blinking red light no more. But uh, we got Xboxes, Segas, 64s. I probably got 10 64 consoles at least. Just some bigger stuff I wanted to mess with. And there's just piles of it, man. Piles and piles. Still got that Commodore 64. Just everything in here. <laughs> I got rid of some board games yesterday that really pretty much worthless. A little stack of clothes, which I need to sell. I got this vintage Pacers starter jacket. Um, that young Jeezy snowman coat I still haven't taken to the dry cleaners, which I want to check. Like, there's a big box of money in here. These Kid Mo's, Kid Mo uh, DVDs. There's like church stuff a big box of it there but like a lot of these tubs are filled with video game stuff like all the ones there are actually ones that i've i had tons of boxes of cords i separated cords in the controllers for like nintendo and playstation so yeah this is crazy man it's overwhelming i mean this is don't seem like much but it's look looking better <laughs> got my garbage can it's, it's just a hot mess, guys. It's hard to be efficient in this stuff. Like I wish I was more organized, man. But when you work full-time and do this part-time, it's just time's an issue. So, But I do pretty good for myself doing it part-time. But I can do a lot better. Like Matt at Part-Time Pickers, he does really great, man. So... Like, down there's a tub of, like, Lunar from Sega CD and stuff. I ain't even messed with it yet. Since we're in here, let's show you some stuff I picked up over the weekend. Didn't go to garage sales, but this is just a Hot Wheel I picked up for myself. I've been looking for this Ford Raptor. It's got my neon green on it, and I love Ford Raptors. And, uh, if you didn't know, GameStop is having... The Hot Wheel events now, sometimes. 
So I couldn't go when they opened because I had to go with my wife to an appointment. But I stopped there on the way home. It was about noon. Picked up a few cars I have with my credit here. Picked up uh, these two Halo Warthogs in red. They're, uh, I've had them in black before. This is what the main car I wanted. Like I said, I like Raptors. Well, when they do these little Hot Wheel events, uh, they come out with exclusive colors. So this was only going to be at the event in this color. So I definitely wanted to get one. And we made sure we got four of them. So. And we picked up this El Camino. It's pretty awesome. And that was it for that. Um, I picked these up at a little flea market. It was the last flea market of the year. And we were there Sunday. I picked up these few games. We got Dead or Alive 4. We got Rock Band 3. Which that sells pretty good on a 360. And Smash Hits. I think sells for about 10 to 15 or so. Maybe cheaper now. I'm not sure. I also got a huge box of Pokemon cards. Uh, maybe I could show that here in a little bit. If I remember, but I got a huge box of Pokemon cards. There's a lot of foils and holograms in there. And I did find one shadowless Pokemon card, which I just learned how to figure those out. Maybe I could share that with you guys if you don't know. So, I got them. We picked this stuff up at Myers. These Mortal Kombat uh, Pixel Pals. These are more or less collection pieces. They were 75% off, so they were only $375. These originally were 15 bucks, so I'm glad I waited because I spent under 15 bucks to get all three of them. We got Raiden, Scorpion, and Sub Zero. If you don't know what these are, you put two AA batteries in there and they light up. So they're really neat to have. I've got quite a few. I got Mega Man and some other ones, Mario. All right. So this pickup, this is from a. Uh, CD Game Exchange. I paid $64.20. Now, this was a great deal on these games. They had them priced really low, which I was surprised. Sometimes they get their box prices messed up. We got a Superman on the Genesis. That was marked at 16. And it's complete. That can go upwards of $30, $35. We got a Predator on the NES box. That was marked at 12, and that's another game that could go for 40, 50 bucks complete. And it's in nice condition. So, this one was, uh, I was really surprised. It was marked at 16 bucks. Uh, if you price chart just the cartridge, it's $21. So, and it's got all the paperwork in there. It's really clean. Don't look like it was ever really played with. So this is another, you know, $40 to $50 box game easily. And that was marked at 16. Got Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That was marked at 12. That's definitely worth more than that. I didn't really price these. We got NARC for 8 bucks, And I think that's missing the styrofoam inside. That looks like it came from a, uh, probably a video rental place. And then we got uh, the Rocketeer. That was marked at eight bucks too. And that's super complete. That's still in the wrapper and everything in there. Like it's never been played. So for sixty-four bucks for those games, I thought it was a great deal. It added up to I think seventy-seven. And my buddy always hooks me up. I said, "Hey, what's the best you could do?" And he said, "67 cash." All I had was sixty-four in my wallet, and he took it. So great deal. Uh, definitely get keep most of that for free i'm pretty sure i got predator and who frame ranch rabbit rabbit in the box but they're probably in worse condition so i'll sell those and then uh i'll show you what i picked up on ebay i'm a big mega man collector and this was the last box i needed for uh super nintendo it's a mega man x3 this was ran on auction. This is actually a Blockbuster copy, which is cool. Sometimes that can bring you more money. I already have the game. I needed the box. Here's the box. 
And this is a hard box to come by. And they were made really cheaply. And it's got some creasing on it. But it's not like horrible. It still has all the tabs and stuff. So, if you didn't know, this is like a $175, $200 game. So, just keep that in mind. Just the game. And this complete goes upwards of 600 bucks. So, the auction was at like 189 And I put in a max bid of 266 or something like that. Didn't think I'd get it at all. It sold for 214 Absolutely shocked. I will sell this and damn near almost get that for like 20 bucks. That's crazy. Like, just that box is probably $200. Don't look like it, but it is. So I just need a manual. And uh, that's complete. I was really happy. I made a $200 sale that day and I spent it right on that. So I really have like 10 bucks invested into this. That's great. That's a good thing about flipping and collecting. You know, I just don't use it for my collection. Of course, I just save money up and uh, go on vacations and stuff. But that's awesome. So uh, those are my pickups over the weekend. Not a whole lot, but pretty cool. That's just stuff I got laying around from moving all this stuff around. I guess I'll show you guys an update. Uh, I need to get to work. I haven't done much today. Spent had to go to the BMB three times, which that was fun on your birthday. First one, uh, the machine was down to make your IDs. Second one, the new guy took care of me, and he didn't scan my paperwork because we got to get federal IDs now if you want. And he scanned my paperwork and didn't save it. So they called me like half hour later and I had to go back up. So spent uh, over an hour at the BMV today. So whatever. And also we got a little fire pit going. Trying to get rid of this junk that's been sitting there. So need to put some more stuff on there. But yeah, guys, this was, that's what we're working with right now. Thought I'd bring something new to you a little bit. And show you what goes on being a part-time reseller for me. So, I wish I had the time. We're going to try to make time this winter. Yard sales have calmed down, so we got should have more time to do stuff like this. Alright guys, we're here with the final check-in for tonight. I probably got at least three hours invested. And this is what it's looking like now. And it's Stan's birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> we got a fire going. Got the fire going. I think he's a pyromaniac. I got some leaves. Are you a pyro? <laughs> I got some leaves. That answers that. About out there. Anyways, I'll show you what we got. If you remember over in that corner right there, it was really packed in. Oh, oh so, go through here now. Still got to do stuff with all that. I got all my DVDs and most of the VHS stuff put away. Like one of these tubs is like media, one's cords and controllers, one's uh, odds and ends of the resell, one's got a bunch of systems in it. So I did, t I did put a, there were some VCRs and stuff stacked here. I got all them in there. Uh, all right. A lot of miscellaneous boxes are all stacked up there. Cleaned up down there some. Why are you pooping on um, me? There was a bunch of stuff stacked here. I got up a little bit of that done. So, definitely making progress. I just need to work on this stack here. Like I said, most of it's tubs of games. So, I'm going to get some more of these, uh, what are these, 32 gallon tubs. They're like eight something a piece. And, uh, so yeah, that's gonna be the update. Uh, I did pretty good. We definitely made some leeway. Got all the guitars I have in there. One of them was broke. We do have a little bit of stuff we're gonna take to the thrift store. Open this real quick so we don't get. Got a little load in there of stuff to get rid of. That's just junk. Don't open it up. I don't want all that smoke on in my car, okay? No. Say bye to the people. Bye. All right, guys. That's just what I had going on today. So I'll do a little bit of different video and uh, show you what goes on in a part-time seller's uh, 
messy garage. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Peace. Perfect.